like a boss. What's up, ladies? It's Alex from Mind for Attraction, and today we're gonna be talking about how to tell if a guy likes you from the start, right? And this relates to a lot, especially if you're in college, if you go to high school, if you go to middle school, if you go to nursing school, if you're a nurse, if you're in a nursing home, I don't give a fuck. This works on everybody, all right? And so let's begin this. And this was from a client who asked me an email question. And the way she did it was she paid for a question. And the way and that way the way that works is that you ask a question and I can make a video about that question, right? You get a discount for that, all right? It's a, you get it on the link below, all right? And I could, and you know, you, and that means I could roast you as well, okay? So I'm not a, I'm not a happy coach, all right? I'll, I'll roast your ass if you ask some crazy shit, okay? So let's begin this. So she says, hi, Alex. I'm currently in my first semester of college. I have never been in a relationship or have even entertained dudes further than having crushes in high school. But in college, dudes look at me a little bit more straightforward with their advances my question is how do i how do i know a dude on campus is truly genuine and doesn't just want to try to talk to every girl he thinks is cute for example most dudes simply ask my name and i try to be cold at the beginning like you said and don't respond but at, but smile and ask why okay why, why you gotta do that why you gotta do that what why Really, bitch? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Look, that, 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 that's, come on, man. Like, you, you can't be saying why to a dude who's asked you my name, your name. It's ridiculous. Okay. Jesus Christ. <sighs> In a playful tone, as a result, like, the fuck, I mean, whatever. It's your own, it's just you being nervous, I guess. Their advances usually end as a result. Exactly. Jesus Christ. It's like a snake asking, why don't I have rabbit friends? You know, it's like, why, do, why don't I have puppy friends? And it's a little snake asking that shit. Nigga, you a snake. Look, man, not you, but you're giving off a defensive energy. That kind of stuff, me personally, I don't give a fuck, right? If I say, hey, what's your name? You say, why? I'm just trying to get to know you. I don't know, you know, you know what I'm saying? All right, keep going. Am I being too cold? Yes, you're being too cold. What the fuck? Like, like you're not even giving a dude's chances, man. I mean, yo. That's too much. If they ask for my number, should I just give it to them at first? Do you like them? Do you like them? You gotta like it. Do you like them? How cold should I act in such scenarios? Look, man, I'd say be cold over text. In person, especially when a dude is approaching you, give the, give the, give the dude a hand. You know what I'm saying? G give him a hand or something. You know, like, look, this is how you act when a guy approaches you. Be polite. You know, be friendly, okay? And and if you like him, give him a number. Now look, how do you know if a guy likes you from the beginning though? That's that's a question. First of all, you can't have, you can never really find out if he likes you or not. All right? He, you can never really find out. All right? So because people will always put on an act. People will always put on an act. This is how it is, right? So don't try to even know if they like you or not, right? So what I want you to do is just don't pay attention to that. We, look, for example, when I get a number, sometimes I forget to text them. I'll get a number and and I'll just forget. You know that's how you should just forget. Forget about it. L let them come to you. You know what I'm saying? You like you you li you can live a long life, right? If you develop the habit of just forgetting, just forget. Yeah, I give you my number now. Fuck it, forget it. That when you do that over the long term, it's gonna work out. It's just it's just well. You know what I'm saying? Like give your number, and just forget it. Don't ask what if you, no no. Just forget about it now. Right now. Now, how do you know if he likes you, though? Like in college or in class, right? It's it's very simple, man. It's proximity. A big part is proximity. Does he sit next to you in class? You know? It, does he sit next to you in class? Do you notice when you guys start asking for group activities, he looks at you? Stuff like that, right? Does he remember things about you? You know what I'm saying? But generally, though, you don't even need to worry about whether or not the guy likes you. you you're being too cold. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, you got to warm up. All right, you gotta warm up to these kind of to, to to dudes because if you don't warm up, then what's gonna happen is that the dudes that like you, you're gonna be just too cold for them. Now the thing is, is that by doing that, you actually you're you're actually um, you're actually eliminating the guys that are that are little pussy. You know what I'm saying? So if you do this, the only guys you're gonna get are guys who are pretty confident because they don't care that you're acting like a bitch. All right. If that's the case, then, you know, whatever, that, that could work out. But, you know, generally, though, 
if a guy if a guy's approaching you, he's interested. You would be, you just cannot find out. You can't you can't find out if he likes you from the start. You just can't. It's impossible because people put on an act all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's how. They, and that and look, I can tell you that from from a guy. As a guy, you cannot tell if a guy like if a girl likes you from the beginning. Even if she sucks your dick that night, that you just met her, you can't really you can't predict that she'll that you'll see her again. You, you, you really can't. It's kind of crazy. Like, she'll have your, her, your, your dick in her mouth. And it still doesn't guarantee you that you'll see her tomorrow. <laughs> it's truly unbelievable, people. It's truly unbelievable. Um, so how cold should you be in this scenario? Look, man, just warm up. Warm up. Don't be cold. Don't be a bitch. All right? Just, just, if a guy is approaching you, he's being nice to you, don't be a bitch. All right? Anyways, that's my answer to you. Peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy, to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're gonna be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're gonna be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know. It, you know. Now the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and ex and facial expressions, surrendering control, and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's it's it, it, this will supercharge like like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women of power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that and how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then at week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you, you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really, most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre-order that course it's going to be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of february of, of march one of the two people because i have a 10-day retreat to do and i want to i want to finish the course um after the retreat because i think that the ideas are going to be so much better all right man i'll see you guys later pre-order man oh, i'm closing the channel